Okay, I finished the passenger side. Did the same as what I did on the driver's side. So both of them are done now, the structural part of it anyway. And I just cut a piece of poster board here. You can see it fits between the, the two rails. I just got it kind of hanging there with uh, magnets right now. But I'm gonna make a panel. That panel's gonna be recessed right inside here. Have about a quarter inch margin all the way around. And I think I'm going to, I gotta get my lights yet. But I think I'm gonna get a, a light that goes along this whole length right here. Put a diffuser on the bottom of it. Once I get that figured out, I might put a another groove or a couple grooves or something down along here to stiffen the panel up and then just put some stainless uh, screws around the perimeter to hold it in place so I can remove it whenever I need to. As you can see, I've got my um, battery cables positive and, and ground. It's a 2 out wire. It's, it's big. I ran that back and up through and into the trunk. So that's going to be covered up. And then it'll run. I just stuck this on here temporarily, but it's going to run up through. It runs right up into the uh, engine bay. So I'll probably continue this panel down around here somehow and cover that up. Next project, making a panel. Got to get my lights. So today I'm going to take these subframe connectors off and finish them so I can get my lights recessed up in here and make a panel to close all this off and then I will uh, paint everything and put it back on so you can see the way that the subframe connectors are con constructed in order to get a light through here um, it's going to be really difficult with the stock lighting which this is the one I, I purchased it's it's enclosed in a plexiglass case and it's got the oh well, it's got black ends on it it doesn't really look very attractive it's just made to tie up to the bottom of the frame somewhere or the underside of the car like I did here I just got this tied in place for now to see how it would look as well as the rear of the car I tied one in here I'll make a panel for that I'll make a panel for the front but for now I'm going to uh, work on these I'm gonna pull them off plan on cutting a notch in these crossbars here so that I could recess something up in here about a half inch build a box in here, recess them up about a half inch. Then I'll make a panel to cover the whole bottom and put uh, plexiglass in there. So this, this light strip, basically I just took it out of the tube. There's a couple screws on the end here. And I just pulled this apart and, and pulled the light strip out. And that's all I'm gonna use. I'm gonna make my own box and my own covers. Another thing I want to do is fill in this portion right here, the structural part of it where it ties into the to the rear. And, and so I got both uh, subframe connectors removed, and this one's laid out. So what I'm going to do is cut a notch out about a half inch deep, inch and a quarter wide, and I've got that laid out here. Going through these two. Um, supports and then this one and then from there I will cut a piece of metal that'll be a half inch inch and a quarter and up a half and I'll lay it down in there and weld that so I've got a continuous groove or notch in there uh, like a box to set the light in I've got my piece cut here 
fill this end in. That's, uh, that connects to the rear control arm. Um, and then that connects to the K member in the front. So when these are installed, that should be nice and solid from front to back. This one I've got, I've got my piece welded in already and I've cut my notch and I put my piece of my box channel in here. I've just tacked it right now. So that will house this light strip. And I've got a little extra room so I can adjust it back and forth here. Run my wire through, put a ground it. That should be nice and clean. Then I'll take a piece of sheet metal. I've got a pattern cut here. As you can see, that fits between the the two rails here and covers up everything. And I, I will cut an opening right above that light. The full length here, I'll cut it short. And I'll round both sides and I'll put glass or plexiglass in that so the light comes through. And my plan is to make these panels removable so I can access the light. I can access, there's a filter, a fuel filter on the driver's side. I've got power wires and some other stuff going down through there. I can remove the panel, access them without removing uh, the subframe connectors. However, I, I can remove these if I ever want to replace the fuel lines, which are one piece from front to back. Fuel lines, brake lines, I can just remove that whole subframe connector by unbolting it from the K member. I've got some bolts that'll go into the, the floor frame here. And then I've got tabs welded here, which will bolt into the rocker. I'm also gonna put a, a bolt through through here that goes up into the floor because that was a, a point that they wanted welded on these stock subframe connectors. So the plan is to make these attach and they'll be hidden fasteners. So I'll show you how I, I plan on doing that once I get my pieces cut. Okay, been working on these. Got all my structural parts of it welded together trying to decide on exactly how to make this you know, I've got my uh, area for my light here recessed down in and then that's flush with this but then there's about a 3 16 difference between the top of this and the top of that not quite that but so I decided to make a take a piece of sheet metal and rolled a offset flange on the edge and you can see see that offset so that recesses down and then there's uh, still a little bit of a gap right here so to close that gap in I'm going to take plexiglass and put to the bottom of the of this piece I'll cut my hole out of my pan this will slide or this will lay right on top but it'll be bonded to the bottom of this panel with my hole in there that'll, that'll flush right out. See how nice and flush that is. So I'm, I mocked up a little panel here and I like the radius on the edge better. Uh, so I radius both these edges and I've got a little corner here that I'll fill in. That's not as much as what it looks. It's only that, that much. I'll fill that in with solid steel. So that's how I um, decided how to make it. And one of the things I wanted to do is make sure I could make this so that I would have hidden fasteners. I didn't want any screws going down through the top of this. Um, so the way I did that is I take a piece of sheet metal and I roll an offset flange in it and then I kind of round the corners and put a couple holes in it and plug weld it to the bottom of this piece 
and you can see there's a there's a gap right here. Then I take another piece and do the same thing. Uh, I just bend that on a 90, I should say. Put a couple holes so I can plug weld, weld it to my frame like this. And I lower it just a little bit and I tilt it a little bit as well. So the top, this side's higher than that, that side. And the purpose of making that a little higher is when this piece, which is gonna be um, welded to the bottom of this, when it slides in here, it actually pulls down a little bit, which pulls this flange down tight on top here. <clears throat> and those can be adjusted simply by bending them just a little bit. Okay, so I've got my panel. I rolled an edge, offset flange on it around the perimeter and then I rounded these corners off. And that lays down there nice and tight. <clears throat> fits, fits good. So I just made all my pieces. These will get welded to the structure and then this will get welded to the bottom of my panel and they will interlock and hold this panel in place. So I'm gonna flip this over. Welded, I've marked my center points here. I'll mark center points on my panel so that when I lay these out down below, they will line up. And then when this gets slid forward, it'll be two inches offset. It'll be away from here. And then when those two pieces are welded in place, this will slide and lock in place. So that's how that's gonna work. Okay, I've got all my clips welded to the bottom of my panel here, spot welded, and see them there. And then I've got them welded onto my bracket here as well. So I'll show you how, how this works. You lay the panel on top, and I offset the, the bracket so that the back touches first, which helps me to align it better. That makes it a little bit easier. Because I gotta press down on this and push. And then as you go, you'll feel once once you start getting those two. So those are locked in now. And I go to the front, the next panel up, and push in. So now those are locking in. And then I finish up with this back piece here and there we go. It's locked in nice. It's, it's good and tight, lays down really good. I'll show you close up of it. So see how that lays nice and lays down nice and flat. Now I'm gonna cut this end off with the edge here and then I'll weld that back on for a cap and then I'll put two bolts or two screws in on the end to hold that in place so it won't come out. Then it'll be easy to pull the two screws out, slide it out and you can access it for service. So I'll weld that in and then I'm going to cut my light in here. I, I spaced that uh, channel down below one inch from the edge of this. So I'll come over one inch, then I'll make a one inch slice through here, um, nice and straight, and that's where my glass, plexiglass will go in. I'll show you how that pulls out. So I got the opening for the light marked and I'm ready to cut it out. First thing I do is, is uh, drill a pilot hole on each end. This is an inch and an eighth. Find the center and come back from the end, find the center and drill a hole. And that will give me a nice radius on the end. So I'm gonna connect the, the dots there by cutting this out. 
Okay, I got my hole cut. And then I just took a piece of uh, plexiglass, about 3 sixteenths thick, it's clear, and I taped it to the back of my panel. <clears throat> my, my plan is to bond this down to the, to the panel. Right now I'm just mocking it up with uh, a little masking tape. So, see how this works. So it lays, that plexiglass lays right down on my channel that I put in previously because I kept that about 3 16 short. So that looks like it's going to work really good. I'll just lay this in place. The back ones on that first. Then the middle ones on the front. There we go. Slid in. Just got to get it down. And then I'll put two screws in this end. That'll hold it in place. So, so we'll see what it looks like. You can see the plexiglass. And you can see right through it. Now I got a little tape on the back side, which obviously won't be there if I bond that down. Once that's glued in place, that'll that'll look really good. Um, as you can see, you can see through it because this is clear. And I did a couple little samples here. I just sanded a small piece to see what it would look like. And I think that's what I'll do. See that that diffuses it just enough so you don't see through it and see the light. Um, that light strip that'll be in there, that LED. I think sanding it. It's going to make it look better. So there we go. That baby's done. I'm going to put it in the car. Make sure since I added this bracket on the end that everything still lines up and it fits well. And then I'll decide if I want to make something to cover these two bolts that go into the K member. Probably not, but I'll decide that after I get it in the car. So. Get two more panels, one for the back and one for the front uh, to add for lights. So I'll work on those and then paint everything at the same time. So both my panels are done now. Okay, I've got them slid in place. The uh, subframe connectors are bolted in. I just put a temporary bolt through here. So I'm going to pull it out again. It was easier to get that one in. And then my panels are all locked in. So I put just a temporary screw in the front here to hold it up. I think those turned out pretty good. Did the same thing on this side. It's all in. As I said before, I'm going to sand that plexiglass diffuse it a little bit so anyway now it's time to turn to this one I think I'm gonna make a, a box here as well something similar where I'll have the glass flat on the bottom haven't decided exactly how I'm going to make it I still have to decide where I'm going to put my backup camera Right now I've just got it taped in place. I thought about putting it on the end of this fin, that center fin, but it's just not quite wide enough. I'm gonna try to see if I can find a smaller camera that I can get it fit in there. If not, I'm going to maybe make something as part of that light. I haven't decided yet, so 